How do you win a race? Well, it's easy. You're based on three basic factors. The driver, which is chosen already. The car is also chosen already. So the only thing left to change is the setup of your car. And for the setup of the car, we take the nine main parameters. At every wheel of the car is mounted a spring, and you can choose between a soft spring or a hard spring. And it's all meant for the mechanical grip of the car, in the corner or on the bumps. Then we've got the shock absorber, which is mounted on the inside of the spring. And the shock absorber controls the spring, because naturally a spring always wants to release. And the release is called the rebound, so you control the speed of that. And the bump is the compression to control that. Then we've got the roll bar, which is on the front and mounted on the rear. It's based on a U and you can balance it to make it harder or softer as well on the rear as on the front. The downforce of the car, of course, the wing, which is mounted on the rear and the splitter on the front. When you mount it more up, you've got more downforce, but less top speed. And when you put the wing more flat, you've got a higher top speed, but less grip in the high speed corners. Then we've got the right height of the car. You can balance that one as well. When you put the rear a little up, it's standing more on its toes on the front. And when it's too loose on the rear, you put it a little bit more down. Then of course, you can also change the wheel alignment. When it's completely straight, you have the less friction. But uh, when you need to help the steering with the car, especially on the rear, you give it a little bit toe out, but also on the front. But if you need more stability, you give it toe in. Also at the wheels, you can change the camber when it's fully straight or more positive. In this way, it's meant for the spread of the temperature on the tire. Then we've got also the tire pressure. Well, basically it's two bar. Well, 1.65 is now because the tire is cold, because when it's more hot, of course, it gives a little bit more pressure. When it's too low, it gives good grip, but it starts to, to move. Uh, when it's too high, the pressure, the tire is round. You don't use the full grip. And then the last point, as a driver, you can also control the kick-in of the throttle. So how much throttle you put, how much power it gives you, and also the ALS system, which is called the anti-lag system of the turbo boost control. And as you see, there are endless combinations possible between the car, the driver and the engineer.